Very, I don't know, I guess a voice reveal. Anyway, um, I just wanted to say that, um, quick disclaimer, I think I already said that. Um, I'm not Hispanic or Latina at all. I'm simply doing this video to show appreciation for, you know, Mexican culture that you don't usually get in media. I know we do have it, but just not enough. Um, you know, I respect all cultures, all religions, all genders, everything. So I just want to do this video to show my appreciation because today is November 1st and today is the Day of the Dead. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. Sorry. <laughs> I was going to say something. All right. I was going to do a Christmas video today, but I've decided to push that to tomorrow to show appreciation for today. So I'm, I'll see this one's being posted today. Um, yeah, enjoy the video. Te vi sin que me viera. Te hablé sin que me oyera Y toda mi amargura Se ahogó dentro de mí me... Hey friends, it's time to set up our ofrendas for Dia de los Muertos. First, we add our DIY paper marigolds along with some fresh marigolds to our altar to guide the souls of our loved ones back for this celebration. Next, we add our colorful papel picado to represent the wind as an element of life, along with these little calavera figurines. I love collecting these throughout the year. Once all of our colorful decor is up, we get to add photos of the loved ones that have passed, my mother-in-law, my grandfather, and my grandparents, along with my mom's uncles and my husband's aunt and uncle as well. Our last step is to add our offerings, whether it's their favorite fruit, their favorite sweets, or their favorite drinks. I'm adding bananas, apples, as well as pan de muerto from El Pollo Loco. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and I cannot wait to see all of your beautiful ofrendas that you create for this year's Dia de los Muertos celebration. Getting ready to celebrate Day of the Dead. Los y las mujeres son dos cosas igualitas, son dos cosas igualitas. Los gallos y las mujeres, los gallos y las mujeres, son dos cosas igualitas, son dos cosas igualitas. Los gallos y las mujeres, los gallos son peleoneros, las mujeres son bonitas, los gallos te dan dinero, las mujeres te lo quitan. Here is my original sketch. Now we're going to put everything up to see what else is needed. Que cuando las mueve el viento llorona parece que están llorando. Que cuando las mueve el viento llorona parece que están llorando. I de mí de 
Dia de los Muertos is coming up. Have you added food and flowers to your altar yet? If you haven't, you have to make sure to go grab all these products to add to your altar. Headbands, zip ties, crystals, fake flowers, hot glue gun and glue stick scissors, spray paint. That's what you're gonna need to make this crown for Dia de los Muertos. I spray painted the headband. Don't worry about the glue, we're gonna cover that up. I used the, the bowl to help me glue the flowers because I didn't want it to glue the on the glue the table and I like things to look pretty on both sides so I'm gonna put flowers in the back too just like that and then I add the crystals front and back as well and that's it So this is what the ofrenda looks like. I just put things in place just to see what it's going to look like, but it's not going to be like this for the final. I'm going to grab a few things this week, um, but so far I have my grandmother Sara, which that's how I get my name from my dad's side, and here's her husband, Francisco, my grandfather. Um, so I have still quite a few things to do before I finish everything up. Azul, ay mi amor, ay mi amor, que es rojo dices tú, ay mi amor, ay mi amor, ves todo al revés, ay mi amor, ay mi amor, creo que piensas con los pies, ay mi amor, ay mi amor, tú me traes un poco loco, un poquititito loco, estoy adivinando qué quieres y pa' cuando y así estoy celebrando, que me he vuelto un poco loco. Las flores de un campo santo Que cuando las mueve el viento Llorona parece que están llorando Hoy vamos a hacer galletitas de calaveritas Y las vamos a hacer de galletas de azúcar o sugar cookies Llorona, 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 llévame al Wow. She made all that stuff. Are you recording her? I'm recording. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Llorona, llorona, llorona de azul celeste. 
Ay de mí, llorona, llorona, llorona de azul celeste, aunque la vida me cueste. My grandpa was making bread for Dia de los Muertos and he said, oh, put it on TikTok. So then when I came out, I'm like, okay, grandpa, are you ready to make your TikTok? He got all shy and he was like, eh, yeah, but just my hands, right? <laughs> I was like, yeah, grandpa, just your hands. Every year he makes pan for Dia de los Muertos and we make like our ofrenda. This year we actually haven't started our ofrenda, but I do plan to put my dog. Hopefully he gets to come and eat some snacks. This year my grandpa did make a lot of bread. He usually makes a lot, but I feel like this year he made over a hundred and he likes to share with everybody. I honestly have the best grandpa. He makes the bread so huge. The muertitos can probably only eat one when they come back. They're probably all carrying it back. Guys, look at how big they are in the oven. They look bigger than my brain. But honestly, they're really good. No sé que tienen las flores, llorona las flores de un campo santo. No sé que tienen las flores. Llorona las flores de un campo santo que cuando las mueve el viento llorona parece están llorando que cuando las mueve el viento llorona parece que están Las flores de un campo santo Que cuando las mueve el viento Y orona parece que están Tú eres la tristeza y de mis ojos Que lloran en silencio por tu amor Me miro en el espejo y veo en mi rostro Hey yo, Día de Muertos, check. Salí de un templo un día, llorona cuando al pasar yo te vi. Salí de un templo un día, llorona cuando al pasar yo te vi.
el cielo no es azul, ay mi amor, ay mi amor Que es rojo dices tú, ay mi amor, ay mi amor Ves todo al revés, ay mi amor, ay mi amor Creo que piensas con los pies Today is Day of the Dead, a.k.a. El Día de los Muertos. I hope I said that right because English is my first language. It's a Mexican holiday to remember friends and family members who have died. I went by myself to go visit my dad and my grandma and I ended up bumping into my uncle. I want to teach you some things that I found out what you should do if you ever want to go visit a loved one because I don't know if a lot of people will ever experience of what I experienced. My uncle is ripping the grass around the tablet so it looks nice and trimmed like a haircut. Bring some flowers. Each spot has has a hole just to put the flowers in and you put water in there to make it fresh if they're cremated like my auntie you could be on the wall they have a sink and scissors so you can cut the flowers and they give you a vase you get the stick and you put the flower vase right on top of the stick to extend it and you hook it right on top and that's one of the good ways to give your respects to your loved ones to mention at the beginning why is the flash on hold up <laughs> okay um i also forgot to mention at the beginning of the video that i will be removing any racist or negative comments towards the holiday um or culture 